Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome to another video. Just like that, it's time for my final monthly Plan With Me video of 2018, and I'm just sitting here freaking out a little bit about the fact that it's almost December. It really feels like this whole year has basically flown by at light speed, but nevertheless, it's time to sit down, get organized, and set up my December 2018 bullet journal spreads. As you can see, I'm in a new Scribbles That Matter journal for this month since I just filled up my last journal. So you know what that means? You can stay tuned for a flip through and a migration video in the next couple weeks. As usual, I asked you guys in my last month's plan with me to comment your best December theme suggestions. And there were two very clear winners. About half of you wanted some sort of snow slash snowflake theme and the other half were screaming for a Christmas theme. So of course I had to be extra and I designed both. Don't forget that I always choose my monthly themes from your guys' comment suggestions, so be sure to leave your January theme suggestions in the comments down below. So today I'm going to be using this Snow Day monthly sticker collection to set up my own monthly spreads, and that includes the three sheet monthly kit, the Snow Day doodle sheet, and the matching functional add-on sheet. And then I also released a 100% full-blown Christmas themed monthly collection for all of you more festive folks out there. Again, with a monthly kit, a Christmas doodle page, and a matching functional page. Both of these collections are now available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. And to celebrate Cyber Monday, my entire shop is 25% off today only. So be sure to check out the link to my shop in the description below. And now that we know our theme, let's just jump right into setting up my December bullet journal spreads. So I decided this month to do a cover page to introduce December, and I actually set this up already during a live stream yesterday. If you join the $10 tier over on my Patreon, you get access to weekly live streams, and you can also rewatch all of the previous live streams, including the one where I set this cover page up. You can see that I'm going for this very soft, pretty pastel snow day theme, and I'm using these four Crayola Super Tips for my color, a gray Pentel sign pen for gray lettering, a Tombow Mono Drawing Pen for thin black lines, and finally my Tombow Fudenosuke Hard Tip Brush Pen for all of my black lettering. I also wanted to quickly mention that I am still going to be featuring your guys' bullet journal spreads in this video, but I'm just going to be doing it at the end instead of the beginning, so that way I can just get right into my setup. Alright, so to get started on my main December calendar spread, I'm going to be creating another Dutch door. If you saw my woodland theme November plan with me video last month, you may know that I created my very first first Dutch door monthly spread and I absolutely loved it both visually and functionally. I just thought it added a lot more interest and space to my monthly overview spread. So I'm going to be doing another one this month. So I'm just tearing off the right side of the spread and I'm making that tear seven spaces in from the right. I'm then going in to draw out my main calendar and to do this each day is going to take up a box that is six spaces tall by six spaces wide and I'm just keeping that top row of each week separate for my days of the month. And I did make a little mistake here drawing these lines out, but I always have one of these white out tape rollers next to me, basically like a tape adhesive roller, but it's white out. And when I'm working on my bullet journal, this makes cleaning up these little lines and mistakes really, really easy. So now I'm coloring in the top row of each week, alternating my four Crayola colors, and I'm not worrying about filling that row in completely or perfectly. I'm just doing a single stripe of color above each day, leaving little bits of white here and there. Again, it's not trying to be perfect, it's just quick and easy. Now for those of you who saw my last plan with me video, do you guys remember how proud I was that I didn't mess up the dates on my calendar and I was going on about how the planner gods must have been smiling down on me that day? Well, I definitely jinxed myself because of course I ended up messing up these dates pretty bad and I screwed up more than two rows of dates on this calendar. For some reason I wrote the 16th twice which threw my whole calendar off but I ended up being able to fix it pretty easily just using that same whiteout roller. It really is my holy grail and I'm just doing that over the mistake, coloring in the color over top of it, and then I'm writing the dates over top as well and this actually worked. There was no smudging or anything like that and in the end you can barely even tell that I made a mistake. So all in all that still ended up working out just fine. So now to do the header at the top of the page, I'm just going to be grabbing a bunch of stickers from the monthly kit and I'm starting off with this large rectangular header 
and then placing a monthly overview sticker over top of that. I'm also grabbing these little weekly headers to label the top edge of my calendar, and I'm then going to finish the spread off with one of many holiday song lyrics. I decided that to match this theme, I was going to fill this monthly setup with tons of lyrics from various holiday songs. So we're starting off with Let It Snow, Let It Snow, using those Crayolas and that great Pentel Sign brush pen. So now I'm moving on to the visible part of the next spread, and I'm going to use this entire section just for my main December header. I just had this vision that I thought it would be so cute to have my December header go down the page so it's visible no matter which way I open my Dutch door. So I'm starting off by lettering in December with my Crayolas and I'm alternating the colors with each letter and I'm then giving that a drop shadow with my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. I'm then going to create a bar of color below that which is going to be also visible no matter how the page is open. And this ends up being a super cute sort of divider for this header. And I just think it looks really cool when the door is open, when it's closed. And all in all, I'm just really happy with how this Dutch door concept ends up coming together. I've been hearing that my whole life, I promise it's not just you. Now moving on to the inside section of my Dutch door, I love having a little brainstorm area for December where I can jot down Christmas gift ideas. I did this last year and I also really wanted to have one this year again. So I made a box for my side of the family and then a box for Jake's side of the family and I'll just write down any ideas I have for presents throughout the month. Below that is just going to be a little section for monthly tasks which is where I can write down anything I want to get done in December that isn't today specific and I'm using a couple checkbox list stickers to finish off this section as well. And I should also mention that I used two stickers from my gifts and stockings holiday sticker sheet for the gift section. Um, just because I couldn't resist the matching stocking and present sticker, I just thought they were so cute. So that's where I got that little snowflake stocking and the snowflake present stickers from. Finally, to finish this spread, I'm going to add another holiday lyric to the whole left side of this Dutch door. And I really was looking for lyrics that were about winter itself or about snow. So these aren't really the typical Christmassy lyrics necessarily, um, but this one says, it is a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight walking in a winter wonderland. My next spread is going to be my December habit tracker. I've been trying to mix things up a bit more these last couple months in my journal since for many months this year, I had been doing very similar spreads over and over again, and I was just getting a little bit bored. So I'm trying out yet another new habit tracker setup this month with these small little calendars. I used to use these for my habit trackers all the time last year when I only track three or four habits at a time, but it's been about a year since the last time I did. So I've really been itching to give it a try again, just to see how it works now that I have more than 10 habits to track. So I'm using one of these little blank calendar stickers for each habit that I'm tracking this month and then throughout December if I do a certain habit on a certain day I'll then just fill in that day in that habits calendar. Now, I won't lie one of the reasons that I haven't done this type of tracker all year is because of how long it takes to fill in these dang dates for each calendar but Honestly, after all was said and done, I think the effort was definitely worth it. Not only am I just really happy with how this spread turns out in the end, but I also think that it is going to be really useful finally being able to see each habit very clearly and separately from the rest. And I think it'll just make it a lot more obvious if I'm neglecting something and also a bit easier to see what day of the week I did which habit. And again, I'm using that gray Pentel brush pen to write in all of my habits here. I just thought that the color scheme this month was so pretty and soft, so I didn't want to use all black for my lettering, since I thought that might look a little bit dark in contrast. So that's why I'm using this gray pen for a lot of this month's lettering, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like this pen, so I think I'm going to be using this a lot more in my bullet journal from now on. I'm also separating my tracker into two sections with personal habits on the left and business habits on the right, and after that I'm going to finish this spread off with another holiday lyric of course and just a touch more sticker decoration. Now 
Moving right along, I'm now going to set up my daily review and my mood tracker. I decided to change this up as well this month, so I'm going back to just a simple one line a day format for my daily review using that vertical number strip sticker from the functional add-on sheet. And this just gives me one line to jot down a summary of what happens each day. The main reason I did this is that I'm going to be doing a doodle style mood tracker this month, which you'll see me set up in a second. And I wanted to fit that on the same spread as my daily daily summary. So that's why I made my daily summary only take up one page so I can fit my mood tracker on the right and have both of those together basically be my daily review. So now for my mood tracker, I really wanted to do some kind of color in doodle tracker where you color in something each day to indicate your mood. So to go with the theme, I decided on snowflakes. So I'm going to draw 31 snowflakes on this page and at the center of each snowflake is going to be a little blank circle and I'll then color in that little circle each each day with the color that matches my mood. And you can see that I have a color code going on at the top where gray is the worst mood and pink is the best mood. And this page really was super fun to create. Um, making all these snowflakes was almost therapeutic in a way since they're pretty easy and repetitive to draw. You basically just draw a bunch of lines coming out from the center of the circle and you then do little triangle shapes and little circles coming off of those lines. And I did a bunch of random types of snowflakes here, really trying to mix it up and show that there's really no right or wrong way to draw a snowflake as long as it's sort of symmetric and generally circular shaped. And I also alternated the rows with the black pen and the gray pen just so that they wouldn't all blend together. The next spread I'm setting up for December is my December finances spread. I'm switching this spread up quite a bit as well this month, as you can see, that's sort of a trend, but mainly I'm just changing the way that I'm tracking my spending. So as usual, I have my three sections, one for income and savings, one for spending, and one for bills. And I'm marking these three sections with these little flag stickers from the monthly kit. I'm now gonna start off with my income and savings tracker, which is gonna have one row for each week, and each row is gonna be four spaces tall with one space in between each row. And that's then gonna be split up into four sections per week. So each section is five boxes wide, and three of those sections are for recording how much I make from my three different income sources, which are Etsy, YouTube, and Patreon. And then the fourth is gonna be for logging how much I have in my savings account at the end of each week. I then just labeled the left side with the days of the week and I'm starting with the week of Monday December 3rd since my November finance tracker actually goes all the way up through Sunday the 2nd. Now for my spending log I'm going to continue those weekly rows onto the right side of the spread and I'm splitting these up into five sections this time for my five spending categories. In my previous month's finance trackers I always had a spending log where I would basically write down every single individual purchase that I made but I actually now keep log of these individual purchases purchases in my phone's notes app. I find this is a lot easier since then I can just log a purchase right when I make it rather than having to wait to be in front of my journal. So instead what I'm going to do here is write down the total amount spent in each category each week. So basically at the end of the week I'll just go through the log in my phone, I'll add up the amounts for each category, and I'll then write it here. Now finally I'm going to do my monthly bills section which is really simple. It is just a chart that shows every bill that's going to be due throughout the month. So if the date is colored in purple, that means that I have to manually pay that bill. And all the light pink dates are for automatic payments. I'll then just write what each bill is for and how much it is. I'm now going to make a simple brain dump spread for the month, which I absolutely love using as a space to capture any sort of fleeting thoughts, ideas, or notes that I really don't want to forget but maybe don't belong on any of my other spreads. I really like to separate my brain dump into different sections so that it's not such a mess and it stays organized at least a little bit by category. So I'm just using the rest of those flags to mark each category here. I also really wanted to go heavy with the sweater decoration for this spread since I felt like they haven't gotten enough attention yet on my other spreads. 
And I mean, come on, how freaking cute are these little sweaters? I think they're my absolute favorite part of this whole collection, if I'm being honest. So I just lined the top and bottom of this page with sweaters, and I then drew in some more gray snowflakes in between the sweaters for some extra decoration. Finally, I'm going to finish off my setup with my very first weekly spread of the month, and this is going to be for the week of December 3rd through December 9th. After splitting each page in half with a thin black line, I'm then just going to stick in some weekly headers from the monthly kit add-on sheet, and these are going to be seven spaces apart, and these sections are where I'm going to write down any day-specific events or tasks. I'm then going to letter in the start of my final holiday lyric, which is, Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful, which I think is one of my favorite holiday lyrics, personally. On the far left and far right sides of the spread, I'm going to have my two task lists for the week. Y'all know I love separating my weekly task lists into personal and business. I just find that this makes it so much easier for me to evaluate all the tasks I need to complete so that way I can decide what to prioritize at any given time. So to create these task lists, I use these really cute little task list stickers from the monthly kit, and I also busted out a couple more checkbox list stickers for the list themselves. Finally, to finish off this weekly spread, I'm just going to continue my song lyric to the corners, and I'm pairing that with a couple cute little sweater stickers for decoration. Come close. Come closer, come closer. And that, guys, is the end of my December bullet journal setup. I gotta say, I think this is my favorite color scheme I've used all year. I really don't remember the last time I did a super soft pastel theme like I did today, and I'm just totally in love with how all these spreads turned out because of it. I'm also so happy I kept mixing things up this month. It is definitely easy to kind of just keep doing the same thing, but I find that making changes in my monthly setups really does help refresh me, and it makes my journal just feel new and exciting. So I'm excited to keep that momentum going all the way to the new year with these December monthly spreads that I set up today. If you like this theme that I used and you want to set up some snowy theme spreads in your bullet journal this winter, definitely be sure to check out the Snow Day collection as well as my other new Christmas collection in my sticker shop linked in the description below. And remember that for Cyber Monday, today only everything is 25% off. So I also wanted to take this time to showcase some of your guys' bullet journal spreads that you tagged me in over on Instagram. Like always, I love getting the chance to feature some beautiful spreads that you all have created, either using my stickers or just inspired by one of my spreads. And I look through my tag photos every single week, making sure I see and like every single one, because your guys' creations honestly make me so happy. It still just blows my mind to think that people buy my stickers and to actually see them out in the world in action and to see the hundreds and hundreds of different ways that you guys use them there's really no better feeling i just i can't describe it it just makes me so freaking happy so please keep these coming you can tag me in your bullet journal spreads on instagram at planning with k and if you do i will definitely see it and like it and you may also be featured in my next month's plan with me video all right guys that's it for this video i hope you guys loved this setup and if you did be sure to give this video a like and don't forget to leave your January theme suggestions in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already at Planning with K. And if you want to support me further, be sure to check out the link to my Patreon down below where I do weekly live streams, automatic monthly sticker deliveries, and more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yo.